What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you are finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. Today we're going to be unboxing slash reviewing uh, the, the world's smallest Darth Vader Bluetooth speaker. So, RRP, £130. Cyber Monday reduced down to £50 and then typically the day after it was reduced to £40. I bought it when it was at £50. So, I thought with it being quite a nice little Christmas present, I'd unbox it, review it, and see what the deal is, really. So there will be links down in the description below for this. But yeah, I paid 50. I'm currently in the bedroom because I've got mo multiple USB sockets. I've got Bluetooth speakers that I can uh, pair to this straight away. So hopefully, this should be quite quick and easy. So the, uh, the product specifications are as follows. Bluetooth speaker with a HD stereo background, wireless audio playback from Bluetooth audio sources, wired audio playback through 5.3.5mm uh, audio charging cable, which is included, and a rechargeable battery, which lasts for over eight hours. Right. Uh, we might as well open it up and see what the speaker actually looks like. Okay, all I've done so far is get the goddamn tape off so there's two bits of tape that's in the shape of the pie symbol made out of ungodly material which is really hard to get off so the very top you've got your instructions which fit very nicely then there's some more instructions which no one reads because no, no one reads instructions uh, the cable so that's the uh, the jack and the usb and then inside i don't like how that's dangling let's just unpop that or is it? It's glued. Oh my god, that's horrible. It's adorable. Kind of annoyed. I paid fifty quid for it though, considering it's gone down even further. <laughs> um, or we might actually need instructions. No, there is a power cable. Okay. So pushing the power button. Sorry. There's no lights. So there's a light on the back, which is as dead as a dodo. Uh, there is no power in this whatsoever so let's charge it up so the speaker's been on charge for about two minutes and then i thought you know what i'm not waiting around i'm too impatient so i've actually gone and got uh one of the power banks which i have this is the uh the car mask power bank so i turned it on very very briefly and it made the most amazing sound so i turned it off it makes the most amazing sound again, so I'm going to do it. And you'll see it's charging because of the the amber light on the front. So if you press and hold the power button, come on, do it. That's awesome. And when you turn it off, it does exactly the same sound. So we'll see how easy this is to pair up. Oh. Search for Bluetooth devices. Ah, uh, this is going to be fun because I'm recording on my phone. So, um, the the speaker doesn't connect to my smart device. It's not. Uh, um, enabled which is annoying and stupid fancy having an RRP of a of a Bluetooth device over a hundred pounds and it not being able to connect to arguably one of the biggest devices of smart speaker available it is confuses the hell out of me to be honest so it's still on charge. Um, it's it's been on charge for about ten minutes, and my my car mast is on about ninety eight percent, so that's still holding itself well. You can see from the oh, is that actually charging now? I don't know. It's supposed to be charging, but the blue light means that it is connected to my phone, which is really handy. But I can't show you it working, so I'm going to go and cry in the corner and try and find something to connect to this goddamn speaker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have found it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you my screen quickly, professionally. 
Um, you should be able to see that at the bottom it says Darth Vader. So when you get round to actually connecting a device, it will make this sound. Don't embarrass me. Do it. That, that was it. It was just the, the sound of a lightsaber coming out of its pummel. So I'm going to find some royalty free music, which I'm going to go for one of my favorite royalty free artists out there. I hope to God this works because this was supposed to be a really straightforward and easy video, but because it's not uh, uh, enabled, I can't do it that way. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And to be fair, I think it's going to sound good. So that's that's it. it. It works if you don't try and use an actor. So that's really frustrating because it would have been a nice additional like surround sound type thing if you were like at home and you've got your smart device in one side of the room. You could have this plugged in at the other and you've essentially got surround sound as you're doing your housework. Um, but it doesn't want to work for some bizarre reason. And I think I've now got makeup all over the bottom of the <laughs> of the speaker as well so i mean apart from that i quite like the fact it's got a nice non-slip uh base to it so it's just rubberized which does come off um which i don't quite know why you'd want to do that but it does come off to reveal a horrible underside which i would imagine you'd have pretty much no use for whatsoever and i know i'm trying to get this back on in the exact right place so i probably should not have done that but I think for for the price, fifty pound. I think fifty pounds expensive. I think forty pound is maybe you're leaning towards. They would have to be a Star Wars fan, like a definite Star Wars nerd, in order to to want to use this speaker. I think it's worth thirty quid personally. Um, and see, the thing that lets it down the most is the fact that I personally might be different for everyone else, but I cannot get my uh, huh, app to find the, the device at all, whereas my laptop found it right away. My, my phone found it right away. But for some reason, it, the smart speaker just would not find it. So fingers crossed, if you guys do get one of these, let me know and let me know if you can work any miracles. I've not used the jack. To be honest, I don't think I've got anything that uses a jack. I mean, to be fair, this does. I think. We might as well do that. So if I just press a button on the back, should be able to turn off. That's the Bluetooth now off, and you'll see that the the flashing blue light means that it's not connected to anything presently, and it should be able to go back on to. <laughs> Sounds exactly the same, to be honest. So. Even as just like a, a laptop speaker to really annoy everyone else around you, it, it's okay. It's just really, really annoying that I couldn't get it myself to, to connect. And also, you have to twelve, you have to charge it. I'm so annoyed. I stumbled upon my words. You have to charge it for twelve hours the first time of using. So it's been plugged in the whole time. I'm going to plug it back into the wall rather than completely drain this little battery, which is now at still at ninety eight percent. So yeah charge it for 12 hours and um, try and find something it will actually connect to. So as I say, there will be links down in the description down below if you want to pick up one of these for yourself. But for £40, I'd do it. Anything more than that, personally, I'd give it a miss. But that is it from me. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.